gonna get weird. All right, guys, we're in Northeast Wisconsin, and Logan and I have been hunting the last couple days on public land up here, but I remembered I wanted to do something before the season even started, and now that I at least shot a buck in Iowa, we want to do a Walmart challenge. One of our goals when we started the hunting public was to get more people into hunting, and we just kind of want to show how easy it is nowadays to get started in bow hunting, so we're gonna go to Walmart, get what we think is the bare minimum to get started, and see how much that costs. I'm not gonna be too picky. We're just gonna go out and try to shoot a deer. I don't know if it'll be a doe, a small buck, or what, but it should be pretty fun to just go out and try to kill a deer. So we're gonna go to Walmart today, maybe go to the bow shop, get the bow set up so it fits me, and then hopefully go out and hunt all in the same afternoon here, so. Something that a lot of people probably don't know is that hunter numbers are actually going down, and it's pretty scary how fast they're going down. So we wanna get new people into hunting. If you're interested in hunting, we just wanna show how easy and affordable it can be nowadays to at least get proficient with the bow. We're not saying it's gonna be easy to go out and kill a deer, but with the equipment nowadays, it is somewhat easy and affordable to go out, buy a bow, sight it in. So we're pulling up here, we're gonna go in and see how much it costs to get started in bow hunting. Hopefully I have enough money in my bank account to do this. That would be ideal. <laughs> I think this is the one. It's only 20, 20 bucks. Goes a 31 inch draw, so she should fit me. Alright, I think I got a new bow. It's got a three pin sight, whisker biscuit. It's all set up, looks like it's ready to go. I just gotta buy some arrows, broadheads, and maybe a release, I think. And it's, Can you guys think of anything else I'll need? Don't have a bunch of options here. $388 and you could probably find one cheaper that's either used at a bow shop or I mean I bought them off eBay before and stuff like that it's just important that we take it to the bow shop after you buy something so they can kind of inspect it and help you get it set up so it's fit to you this bow is really adjustable though so some youth hunters could probably pull it back it goes from 40 pounds all the way to 70 pounds and I mean I'm pulling 70 pounds on the bow that I have now so it's highly adjustable you got 21 inches all the way to 31 inches. So if you're a beginning hunter, this would be a good bow for you to get, just if you wanted to try to get into bow hunting. And I mean, a kid could grow into this bow over a course of 10 years and use it for the rest of their life, really. I mean, I'm sure we can get this thing shooting pretty proficient out to 20 yards and hopefully kill something within the next couple days here. So I'm gonna look through what they got for arrows, broadheads, a release, and some practice tips, and we're probably gonna head to the bow shop then and get this bad boy set up. So I'm just gonna grab the cheapest release here. I'm sure this will work just fine. It's 14 bucks. And just like most things we're gonna be buying today, you can buy something that's more expensive and it might make you more proficient or it might be easier to use, but I know that we're probably gonna be able to get by with this release. We've got some field points for just under $3 here. And then one thing that I'm not gonna buy real cheap is broadheads. I'm gonna get the cheapest ones that I've seen used before. These are slick tricks. This is what Zach shoots. And I know they're super sharp and pretty good quality. I don't want to spend $10 on broadheads. There's so many different broadheads out there and you can read reviews to help you out, but I've seen these used before. And if I'm going to swear on anything today, it's definitely going to be these. They're still only 30 bucks. You get three of them. Probably going to designate one practicing with just to make sure they're shooting like the field tips. And then the other ones will still be razor sharp when we go out to hunt tonight. So can't get the cheapest arrows just because my draw length is too long. So they're eight bucks a piece, I think. Got to buy some tags here and then uh, we'll head to the archery shop. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Did you need me? Yes, I do. Okay. I've never done one of this before. Is done what? A bow and arrow? Like this bow? Never done what though? Ring it is up? Is there... No, is there a security thing on it? I don't know. Look at it and see. Is it Well, I'm new. I'm just asking. Okay, but can you scoot back so I can see? Sorry for asking. Can I have you put this sign up down here for a minute, please? Joanna, can you come here? Have you seen one of these? Yeah. There it is. Okay, and then can you take over for, for, for her for a minute? I need to go and have a little quick Yeah. Things are going good. Yeah, you can go ahead and take this next customer because this one's held up for a minute. Okay. How's it going? Awesome. <laughs> I got it. 
good. I don't know if I was gonna be able to shoot it with that on there. Yeah, I don't think so. You could try. <laughs> yeah, I could. Alright, you can finish it. Alright, you wanna come with me for a minute, Katie? Uh, can I see your ID? Yep. <laughs> Doesn't really look like me, but it is me. We're on camera. Wow. What? We're on camera. Huh? What? Should I give you permission? You can blur her out if she doesn't want to be in it. We're just filming the bowl. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, four eighty nine sixty three. This is the moment of truth here. See if it works. <laughs> she worked. It's kind of surprising, actually. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Hope you get your deer. Yeah. Four hundred eighty nine dollars and sixty three cents to have all the fun in the world. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Had some complications up there up front. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to have a talking to you guys. Yeah, I saw that. Holly's <laughs> Tackle Bait Shop and Motel. What's that? Catch a room if you want to take a little nap in the free site. Let's go get this bad boy set up. Okay, take care. What are we up to today? I'm gonna have you help me set this up. Alright. <laughs> We're doing a YouTube video where we just went to Walmart and bought everything. And I just got like the cheapest stuff I could find there. I'm gonna try to kill a deer with it. Actually kind of seems nicer than the one I got right now. <laughs> Close. Believe it or not, up and down's right on the money. Walmart's got her dialed in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's how close we want the deer tonight. Get a little worried if it's much further. Missed him high. <laughs> See if it's consistent at least. Oh well, heck yeah. <laughs> this thing. He's yeah, ripping them like it's going pretty fast. <laughs> Not bad for the first group with the Walmart bow. Just move her uh, move side up. Try it again. It actually had it on backwards. Not, Not on that bow, but on that one. Different, different Walmart. <laughs> we had a different issue with the Walmart this morning. The lady up the cashier couldn't figure out how to get the security lock or whatever off of it, and she had a bit of a meltdown. She was just whipping that ball around. Yeah, there. she was just dragging the side off the counter and stuff. It's pretty funny. So here's tonight's tools. I got a, I don't know, I think it's a five gallon bucket. It's supposed to blend right in with the snow. And I got the Walmart bow again. Obviously it's a couple months later. Still wearing the same shirt though. It's in the middle of January right now and when I was here last it was the middle of October. So obviously some time has passed. Didn't fill a tag last time we were here. Got close a couple times and got really close actually in this exact spot. I was drawn back on a couple does right in this cornfield that's cut now, but the deer are still coming out to it. So I'm gonna get back in the same area where I drew back on those does last time I was here by myself tonight. So gonna make things a little bit challenging maybe, but I'm gonna find a spot, maybe sit on this five gallon bucket, 
get tucked into these junipers and these cedars and get set up over a trail that's coming out to this field. So we'll get in there and talk a little bit more about it, but I gotta get going, I'm a little bit late. All right, before I do my opening interview, I just wanna do a little tip. We've been doing this one all year, but we don't think we used it in an actual video. When I'm sitting on the ground, I like to have my arrow obviously knocked on my bow, and then I'll take another one out of my quiver, and I'll just set it within arm's reach. That way, if I were to have to make a follow-up shot, or just flat out miss and the deer sticks around, I have an arrow that I can quickly grab. That way I don't have to get it out of the quiver, no matter what kind of quiver it is. I forgot to buy an actual quiver at Walmart, so I, I just found an old one in a closet that you just slide the arrows into, but I mentioned I'm a little late, and the reason for that is last time in October we were up here with the AP Bassin crew, and those guys came up here again, and I was actually doing some fishing with them for the last couple days, so we were out on the lake today, caught some brown trout, they got some sweet videos coming out, they had their buddy along named Murray, he's also got his own YouTube channel, so we'll leave the links down below. They got some really cool brown trout fishing videos that they just made, as well as some cool videos from last time they were up here in October. So it was fun to meet up with those guys, but I'm gonna start watching. I'm set up over a couple good trails. I can see the tracks in the snow where they're coming out onto this field. Looks like they might be staging up in this open area, just kind of following these paths. And they're browsing a little bit on these trees they recently cut down to make this opening. So I think I've got a good enough hide. It's just gonna be tough getting it on film on the ground like this with not a ton of cover, but I don't have a ton of time left, so I'm gonna shut my mouth and start watching here. exactly what we wanted. I think I made a perfect shot. And I, I know that's only a doe fawn, but I haven't been shaken like that all year. I heard him coming through the ice from over 100 yards away. And when I first heard him, I thought that they're at 20 yards. It was so loud, them breaking through the ice, but they were really far away. And it just took forever, because I could hear him from so far. And then they could smell over there where I walked in. <laughs> and they just followed my ground scent right up to this opening. I mean, I, I know some people are gonna say, oh, you shot a fawn, great job. But that was awesome. Walmart bow, perfect shot as far as I know. I think it crashed right here, and I don't know what more you could ask for. That thing's gonna taste delicious, might be a buck fawn, might be a doe fawn, I don't know, but it's dead. And that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but that was tough. I guess if this Walmart challenge has proved one thing, it's that it might be easy to get into bow hunting and be proficient with a bow and get to shooting real good. But at the end of the day, getting a deer within range with a bow, any deer, is a trophy. And that is gonna be a trophy. That was a lot of fun. Whew. There's been a lot of mishaps along the way. I've been drawn back on several deer, but I wanted to do it on the ground, basically as minimal as we could, sitting on a five gallon bucket in a flannel, you don't need camouflage, you don't need 
a high dollar bow. Obviously all those things help. Having a nicer bow helps, having camouflage helps. But if you want to get into bow hunting, you can go to Walmart. You can pay, I can't even remember what it was because it was so long ago now, but it was under 500 bucks. You could use this bow your whole life as long as you take care of it. And you could have that much fun. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I might go look while I have daylight. I'm sure there's gonna be blood everywhere. I'm pretty sure the deer's right here. But I may just go look at the blood, mark it. I'm gonna call my buddy, get him over here. And we'll probably be frying up some back straps tonight, so. That was awesome. <laughs> so this deer came right down this trail here. She was standing somewhere right in here when I shot. And I was sitting right back in there and those junipers never really even looked at me until I drew back. I think she probably heard me draw a little bit, but I can see right where the deer took off. I'm just gonna follow it. Oh, I can see blood already. That's perfect. Awesome. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it happen this year with the Walmart bow. Most of the state of Wisconsin is actually closed right now, but the county I'm in is still open, so just gonna follow a little more blood, but from what I'm seeing right now, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any problems, so I'm gonna back out. Pretty sure the deer's actually just dead right back there, but I'll go get my buddy Tony, and we'll see you in about an hour. All right, well I got my buddy Tony here. He's the one that helped me sight the bow in and everything when I was here last. Probably just gonna make a short track job out of it and then we're gonna try to get back in the warm weather. I think it's like 10 degrees out, so let's go find this thing. Looks good, huh? We got a Walmart doe or doe fawn down up ahead, I think. running in the trees and everything. <laughs> there we go. Big fawn. Is that, is that what people say when they shoot fawns? All right, well, we're gonna keep this short because it's freezing out, but basically things went perfectly. The objective was to get a deer on the ground with that bow from Walmart and make a good shot at it. It didn't matter what size deer, that was gonna be the challenge, just getting a deer in range and getting a shot at with that bow. That's exactly what we did. I know several people that still need deer meat. We could still use some more deer meat, but I've got a buddy in mind that has four kids that didn't get much time out in the woods this year, said he needed a deer, so I'm gonna drop this off at their house tomorrow after we get it quartered up and him and his four kids and wife will really enjoy it. Those deer were still going to that same cut cornfield that Logan and I got a close chance at some does earlier in October when we were here last time. Still were pretty much on the same pattern. I just had to tweak the setup a little bit. Got set up in those junipers and those cedars, just sitting on a five gallon bucket in the middle of the woods late season. So that was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun tonight. It was really fun because I could hear the deer coming from so far away and I couldn't see them at all, pretty much until they were within range right before I shot them. So I had no idea what was coming in. Could have been a big buck for all I knew. So my heart was really racing when I saw him step out. That first fawn that stepped out was pretty small. Not saying that this is a big fawn or a big deer by any means, but this one was bigger. It's a decent sized doe fawn. It's gonna taste pretty good. But the point being is, went to Walmart, bought a bow, sighted it in the same day. And even though we didn't get something on the first time out, which is definitely the case a lot of times in hunting, we were able to stay persistent, came back up here again for a couple hunts, made a perfect shot and listened to her fall down. So. That's gonna be a wrap on the Walmart challenge. And this is probably gonna be the last deer hunt that you guys see on the Hunting Public channel until next fall. So hope you guys enjoyed the fall. We had a ton of fun bringing it to you. We appreciate all the great feedback, all the comments, but I'm cold. We're gonna get this thing dragged out of here and uh, maybe fry up some back straps either tonight or tomorrow. So let's get out of here, Tony. Oh, you can cut that. Is this the biggest deer you ever killed, Jake? It's the biggest one I've ever killed in the county. Well, hopefully we can change that next year. Hopefully. <laughs>